And so today I'm doing this really subtle Christmas look. I'm going to show you what it looks like with a red lip as well, just for something a lot more festive. I know lots of people don't like going all out, so that's why I created this look. I'm going to list some of my previous Christmas looks down below from like last year because I did way more like hard out Christmas looks. So that's why I decided this year I'd do something different, something a little bit lighter. Perfect for people in the Southern Hemisphere as well because we're in summer for Christmas, so I think this is really, really pretty. But if you are in winter, I think you could definitely take inspiration from the ice to pair it with a deeper lip. So I'm going to show you what it looks like with a red lip now. This is the NYX Extreme Shine Lip Cream. And it's in the shade Spicy. And there you have your red lip. So super festive. It's just got that tiny little pop of green glitter. You could do more, you could do none. It's totally up to you. I just thought I'd add a little, little bit as a little accent. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas, a really safe Christmas with all your friends and family. Make sure you eat loads and loads of amazing food and have a really good relaxing day. Love you guys so much. Let's get on to the tutorial. Once I have pinned back my hair, I'm going to take my Bare Minerals Primetime Primer, and this one's a neutralizing primer, so it helps to balance the redness in my face. I'm just applying that all over before I do my foundation. And the foundation I'm going to use today is this one by Bobbi Brown. I love this. I have a first impression video coming soon. I don't have enough time to upload it before Christmas, so this is coming first, but I do like it, so keep an eye out for that soon. <laughs> Um, next I am taking some concealer and just concealing under my eyes because I've been very very tired lately so they're not looking the best. You guys know how it is. To set the concealer and brighten up my under eye area and highlight my face, I'm using Bare Minerals Well Rested with my Small Tapered Face Brush by XO Beauty. And once I've done that, I'm just going to set the rest of my face with a powder. Next, I'm going to take my Urban Decay Setting Spray and I'm just spraying this over my face to set my foundation and make it last ages and ages. And then I'm going to fill in my eyebrows as normal. Today I'm using my MAC Fluid Line stuff. I love this. Next up, I'm going to contour my face using my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and I'm using this e.l.f blush brush I think it's called just to chisel my cheekbones out you know how it is and then I'm taking this Anastasia Beverly Hills this is the AM Reezy palette I think and I'm taking the light gold all over my lid with my finger and then with a brush I'm taking the highlight vanilla shade and putting that on my brow bone Next, I'm taking this color here, which is one of my all-time favorite crease colors. So on a blender brush, I'm just running that in there through the socket. I don't really like that word, socket. It sounds kind of creepy. Crease. You know. <laughs> Now my favourite part, I'm taking this glitter by MAC, this is Reflex Gold and it's so beautiful, I said so really weird just then. Anyway, I'm taking some glitter adhesive and pressing that on my lid and then I'm pressing the glitter on top and you can't really see it very well on video, I'm really 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 bummed. In real life it's so beautiful and sparkly so just use your imagination. <laughs> I'm taking the tiniest little bit of this NYX green glitter and putting it on the very outer edge of my lower lash line. You could use eyeshadow if you want, like a green eyeshadow, or you could skip this step, totally up to you. And then I'm taking this ColourPop eyeshadow on my inner corner just because it's super, super brightening. It's just like a, I don't know, like a vanilla gold kind of color. It's really, really pretty. And then of course, follow up with your favorite mascara. This is my current favorite one, Better Than Sex by Too Faced. And then I'm taking the Prima Donna lashes by XO Beauty and popping them on just to finish off the eyes. Mm -hmm. 
for my blush I'm using this shimmery mineralized skin finish I'm just putting that on my cheeks and then I'm going to touch up my what is it called contour just because it kind of like faded away who knows why but it did and then I'm gonna move on to my lips Once you have your chosen lip color on, you can go back in with that glitter and I'm using a blending brush and I'm just pressing that on my lips to add a glitter reflect and it's so freaking pretty. Oh my gosh, I can't get over it. I love the way that looked. And then I'm just finishing off with some bronzy highlighter and that is the completed look. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. Have a really amazing Christmas. I'll talk to you really soon. Bye. It's definitely more purple. Okay. Shannon doesn't know her colors. If you like bold lips and you want to get into purples, this is another perfect one because it's not full on like Barney purple. It's got an element of pink in it, so it's super, super easy. Next up, we have a red. This is called Lana. It kind of looks very similar to Le Orange by YSL Rouge for Lut. Um, that kind of bright red with that orange undertone, which is like my ultimate favorite.